Fire safety, first aid, emergency management. The best protection against the unexpected is to be prepared. This film is intended to inform all students and employees of the HNU how to behave in the event of a fire, where they can get first aid in the event of an emergency, and how our emergency management works. Trained fire protection assistants support our fire prevention officer both in preventing fires and in the event of a fire. The maps showing the emergency escape routes are an important part of fire safety. You can find them throughout the HNU buildings. Each emergency escape map indicates the exact location of escape routes, equipment and facilities. The floor plan indicates the stairwells and emergency exits. In other words, all routes exiting the building. The emergency exits on the ground floor are located on both sides of the building, leading to the car park and to the lake. The HNU has a fire alarm system with a voice alarm, smoke extractors, fire protection curtains in the canteen and library, as well as smoke control and fire doors. If there's a fire alarm, please proceed to the area in front of the art monument, which is the designated assembly point. By the way, you can read up on the HNU's fire safety regulations on our intranet. We can all help to prevent fires and the spread of fires with our own actions. The most important rules are Smoke only in the marked smoking areas. Do not block any fire doors or access to fire extinguishers. Report any defects or malfunctions immediately. Adhere to the fire safety regulations and do not remove any fire extinguishers. If you discover a fire, you must act quickly. First, press one of the fire alarm buttons located in the building. This button notifies the central fire alarm system that there is a fire and activates the voice alarm system. You'll hear the automatic announcement with instructions to evacuate the building. These instructions must be followed. Attention, attention. This is an important announcement. Please evacuate the building immediately. Use the marked escape routes. Do not use the lifts. Assist the disabled. Please follow staff instructions. Please proceed outside without delay. Here's the correct way to behave if there's a fire. Follow the automated instructions to evacuate the building and follow any instructions given by the fire protection assistants. They'll be wearing orange safety vests. Exit the building quickly, but calmly. Don't rush. Help people with disabilities and other people in need of assistance to exit the building. If you're on the first or second floor, use the so-called evac chairs for this. Try to leave the building together with your fellow students and colleagues and take care that everyone leaves with you. Find the assembly point at the art monument, taking care not to block the access roads which the fire brigade needs to use. These simple measures will help both you and the fire brigade to master the situation. If you have any questions, please contact our fire safety team. Do you need first aid? There are people at the HNU who are trained in first aid and who are ready to help. And they can be reached by phone at 3333 in the main building, 4444 and the new building, and 5555 in the Edison Alley building. You can also press the SOS button on the telephones located in the lecture halls, seminar rooms, offices and clubs in order to alert the first aiders. Explain what's happened to the external emergency and service control centre staff member who answers the phone. 
you can find the first aid room in the main building on the ground floor in the purple stairwell. In the new building, it's located in room 105 on the first floor. The first aid room in the Edison Centre is in building 7 on the first floor in the copy room. The first aid rooms are the points of contact for emergency doctors and these rooms must be kept clear and accessible at all times. Each first aid room has an automatic external defibrillator, an AED. AEDs are self-explanatory. As soon as they're switched on, they give precise instructions via a monitor or voice recording. First, the AED instructs the person giving first aid to affix the adhesive electrodes. The electrodes evaluate whether an electrical shock is necessary. Then the AED gives further instructions. If you need to transport a person who's disabled or someone who's injured, please use our EVAC chairs, which are located in the stairwells on the second floor. Familiarise yourself with their use and help with transporting others if necessary. You can find information on first aid on the first page of our intranet and at erstehilfe at hs-noi-ulm.de. The HNU's emergency management is based on three main points. Point one, prevention being prepared for situations that could put people at the HNU in danger. Point two, taking necessary measures if such situations occur. And point three, following up after such an event. Prevention. Our prevention scheme is based on trust and care. People at the HNU trust each other and are mindful of how they treat themselves and other people. So it's a good idea to plan activities with your fellow students, your colleagues, your friends and family. Stay balanced and make sure that you regularly take time out to relax. Pay attention to any warning signs your body might be sending and be aware of your surroundings. Is someone obviously in distress? Ask if and how you can help. Anyone who needs help can seek it from their friends and family but here at the HNU, you can also go to the Study Advisor's Office or to BCEPS, the Consultation and Information Centre for Parents, Personal and Social Issues, to get help. What if someone goes on a killing spree? We all hope it will never happen. But we still think it's important that we all know what to do in such an extreme situation. This gives everyone the best possible chance of coming through the incident unharmed. Let's imagine that you see someone enter the building with a weapon. Do everything that you can to stay calm. You have the following options for getting help, depending on where you are at the time. In all cases, a staff member of the External Emergency and Service Control Centre will take your call and initiate rescue measures. If you're in a seminar room, a lecture hall, club or office, please press the SOS button on the telephone. Tell the person who answers what you've observed. If you're in the foyer of the building, please use the emergency intercoms. Answer any questions asked by the person who answers the phone or intercom. If possible, please use these two options because the HNU's emergency management system can respond fastest by warning everyone at the HNU and by initiating emergency rescue measures. You can, of course, also call the police directly on 110. In the event of someone going on a rampage, you'll hear the following announcement. Imminent danger. Stay in your rooms, stay calm and wait for further instructions. Unlike in the event of a fire, in which case you must leave the building, if there's a warning of someone with a weapon, 
it's imperative that you remain in the building unless you're in the foyer right by an exit. In case of imminent danger, the locks of the seminar rooms and lecture hall doors are automatically bolted to protect as many people as possible. For this mechanism to work, the doors must be closed. Once the doors are bolted, the rooms can only be opened from the inside. Keep away from the doors and stay hidden. Stay calm and don't draw attention to yourself. Wait for instructions from the police. As soon as the danger is over, the police, and only the police, will make an announcement over the building's PA system. Follow-up. When the danger's over, come to the canteen and to the foyer with the other people. There'll be people here to take care of you, to listen to you, to help and understand you. The Neu Ulm Crisis Intervention Service and the Neu Ulm District Emergency Pastoral Care provide us with support in this regard. Do you have any questions about our safety measures, about prevention, or about how to act? The HNU Emergency Team and BEATSEPTS look forward to speaking with you. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.